Good evening, everybody. Time is currently 12.06 a.m. And we are on Tuesday, December 13th. Taking a look at a couple warnings here, guys. This is in, uh, we're lifting, stretching from northern Texas all the way up through um, central Kansas. So let's take a look at some of these warnings, guys. First, let's take a look at the tornado warning for uh, Clark, Kansas and Comanche, Kansas. Let's zoom in on that. Take, get rid of 3D there. Take a look at this storm, guys. You can see this nice shape. It's getting this bow echo type shape on it. Definitely a tornado warning. It expires in 24 minutes. So at 10.57 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles southwest of Sitka, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. The hazard is tornado and half dollar size hail. This is radar indicated rotation, so this has not been verified by a spotter. Uh, flying debris will be dangerous to those uh, caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sitka around 11.10 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can definitely take a look at this shape. This is the reflectivity, guys. Let's go to the velocity to see what we got. And we do have some broad rotation here, guys. Let me try to highlight this a little bit. So right in here, guys, you can see the mesocyclone. Let's see if this will actually uh, draw on here. Sometimes it does. Let me see. go guys you can see the broad mesocyclone there and you can see this uh, tight couplet starting to form right down in here guys uh, right in here this tornado should be lifting off to the northeast um, definitely looks like it's gonna head between uh, protection and buttermilk so definitely uh, be on the lookout for tornadoes here. We also have another tight couplet forming here, just right to the northeast or east of Sitka. So right in here, guys. And this will be heading off to the northeast as well, just to the uh, northwest of protection. Let's see what else is in the uh, path of this. Let's see here. So definitely around the cold water area, definitely be uh, in your shelter, guys. It looks like this is just going to go to the northwest of Wilmore as well. And eventually making into, let's see, up here near Croft. But yeah, it's definitely broad rotation at this point. Um, it, I do see a little bit of a signature starting to form, especially right in this region here, guys. So right in here is where that tornado would be situated. Um, it's definitely strong rotation. Bro very broad in certain areas, but it definitely looks like there could be a tornado on the ground at this point, guys. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for this, especially as this tight couplet gets its act together. All right, guys, let's take a look at the next warning. This is near Hempville, Texas, Lipscomb, Texas, and Wheeler, Texas. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. Switching back to the uh, reflectivity here, guys. You can see this uh, pretty much uh, multi-cluster storms here, guys. You can see that the rotation, there is there is rotation starting to form. You can see these storms moving off to the northeast, and this one lone cell here is moving to the northwest. So there's definitely some rotation within this storm. This one expires in five minutes, so we'll see if the National Weather Service extends this, but at 10.51 p.m. Central Standard Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Arnett to five miles northeast of uh, New Mobiti. Moving northeast at 45 miles per hour, the hazard is quarter size hail and most likely damaging winds for sure. Sources radar indicated damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impact include Canadian, Briscoe, Wheeler, Higgins, New uh, Mobiti, Allison, Glazier, Lake Marvin, Kellerville, and Mobiti. So it's definitely um, a pretty strong system here, guys. We also have a system to the south. Let's take a look at that. So this is Collingsworth, Texas, Donnelly, Texas, Gray, Texas, and Wheeler, Texas. 
looks like that's just to the south this looks like a big massive segment here guys so it's definitely a qlcs or quasi linear convective system so definitely a big squall line coming in um, if you live near Shamrock, definitely uh, look off to your uh, west or southwest. You'll probably see some good lightning show right about now, guys. And then right, um, come definitely coming through Wheeler here. Um, so you guys are going to get a one-two punch here in Wheeler. But let's take a look at this system here, guys. So this is until 11.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10.41 p.m., a severe thunderstorm is located over... Uh, Lalia Lake or 6 miles east of Clarendon moving east at 50 miles per hour hazard quarter size hail most likely at least 60 mile per hour winds this is radar indicated damage to vehicles is expected guys so this as the system moves off to the north uh, northeast definitely expect um, definitely some power outages definitely some damaging winds hail um, frequent lightning and possibly tornadoes. Let's take a look at the velocity measurements. And we do have a mesocyclone starting to form down here, guys. You can see it right in here. So right here, guys, and then right to the south of it as well. There's two different couplets going on. Um, they are broad um, in the spectrum. Um, however, they could tighten up and become possibly our next tornado warning. And it looks like the other tornado warning to the north has expired. So let's take a look at this special weather statement here, guys. This is Mead and Clark, so we'll take a look at that. We'll get a good location on this. Um, this is this is looks like uh, South Central Kansas. So we'll take a look at this to get out of the velocity and go back to reflectivity. This definitely looks like it's starting to bow out here, guys. Right in here, so you can definitely see this area bowing out. Definitely leading to probably some winds, heavy winds. Yep, wind gusts of 50 to 50 uh, miles per hour and penny size hail as well. Gusty winds could knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Strong thunderstorms will be near Felsberg and Centerview around 10.50 p.m. Um, Haviland around 10.55 and Belper uh, around 11 p.m. tonight. Other locations in this path include Belvedere, Trousdale, Maxville, Hopewell, Croft, uh, Collison, Byers, Wellsford, and Dillwyn. So definitely, guys, get um, be prepared for this system to come through. And let's take a look at the last one we have. Oh, there's a couple more, actually. So we have a, another special weather statement. Pawnee, Stafford, Edwards, Kiowa, Pratt, Comanche, and Barber. Let's take a look at this, guys. Um, so that's actually... Looks like that was just extended for that same storm. So you can definitely see there's some bowing out. Let's take a look at the velocity measurements here. And, oh, yeah, we do have a little bit of rotation starting to form in. Just right in here, guys. And right here. Looks like the mesocyclone is over this way. So it definitely looks like it's going to be a pretty strong system coming through. Um, definitely if you're in Pratt and then eventually Kingsman, Kingsman and Hutchinson up here, guys. Definitely be in your uh, shelters. Let's take a look at let's take a look at the hail vertically integrated liquid or VIL so it's not very very impressive but it definitely looks like there is some um, this is probably penny size maybe less yeah around penny size so not too much in the way of hail here guys and let's take a look at this last one uh, last special weather statement Russell and Barton all right, let's go back to the reflectivity so we can get a good eyeball on this storm. So, yeah, these do look like uh, they're discrete little cells, and they're trying to form into a, uh, a squall line or QLCS. Let's take a look in here. It expires in 30 minutes. Wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour and pea size hail. Gusty winds can knock down tree limbs and blow around unsecured objects. Minor damage to outdoor objects is possible. Locations impact include Great Bend, um, Hoisington, Ole Miss, Suzank, Great Bend Airport and Odin. And this includes Interstate 70 near mile marker 188. So for you truckers out there and everybody driving, if you guys are near that area, definitely uh, pull over and find uh, a sturdy building to get into, guys, because this could uh, definitely knock over high-profile vehicles with 50 mile per hour uh, wind gust. Let's take a look at the velocity measurements here. And it doesn't look very impressive at the moment. But, you know, the storm could get its act together. Um, but it looks like right now it's just a special weather statement. 
doesn't look like there's any lightning in this storm, so it doesn't look like it is uh, a severe storm just yet, or at least it doesn't look like it's going to strengthen into that. And one last thing, let's go back up to the severe thunderstorm warning here, guys. You can definitely see this storm here is kind of concerning, especially down to the south as this lifts off towards the northwest of Wellington. So that could definitely be a uh, strong cell there. And then you have these uh, little Boeing segments here, here, and it looks like you have one here and you have little inflow notches in between these. So this could actually create some bookend vortices, guys. So this could be some brief spin-ups. Take a look at that. And definitely right here, guys, you can definitely see here's the mesocyclone right here. There's a little bit of a kink here, here, here as well. So these are little bookend vortices. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. And as we progress on through the night, um, these storms are just going to um, increase in intensity as well as being more widespread. Wouldn't be surprised if this storm down here um, to the west of Esteline and Hover, um, Smithdale and Abington. Uh, this may be going severe soon as well. And the velocity is definitely showing. We're showing a little bit of mesocyclone starting to form there. And there's a little bit of a couplet here. Um, so we're definitely going to have to watch that. But all right, guys. Just wanted to tune in. Let me see just for a second. If there is any other warnings or watches or advisories that have been popped up and it doesn't look like there is but i'm sure there will be in the next few hours especially with some of these cells to the north um, especially to the east of uh, beaver getting to the gate in englewood ashland as well and then we have some of these storms here i'm surprised this storm hasn't gone severe yet this storm definitely looks like it can pack a punch looks like a small discrete supercell embedded in with a line so as these two storms come together they could definitely create um, some spin-ups and in this storm here this qlcs right here especially this one in the south this looks like a very very strong storm uh, i'm sure this one has a good bit of hail in it let's take a look and yeah we're looking at about let's see about dime size hail in these areas guys dime size up to nickel um, so definitely, uh, they're definitely starting to pack a punch and um, uh, gain a little bit of intensity here, especially within these bookend vortices. You can see this one here is definitely becoming stronger. Inflow notch there. You got one here, here as well. And then this storm to the south, as these two interact, you can see this big interaction zone here, guys. Um, so that's definitely going to create some problems. All right, guys. Appreciate you joining me for this uh, short video. And uh, always remember, never stop chasing.